Good. Hello? Okay. Uh, I'm going to talk about my geek inferiority complex. My name is Matt Harrison, and I'm a Python programmer by day at Fusion IO, but this isn't commercial, so I can't say this slide. Go back a couple years, 1999. I went to this place called Fry's Electronics, and I bought a computer because I didn't want to go into the computer lab because it was crowded. And at that time, I was visiting this site called Slashdot. Oh, good, there's another person here who's heard of it. And um, <laughs> they kept saying this thing that next year is going to be the year of Linux on the desktop. That, 12 years ago, I think. So I d um, yeah. Here's a scientific study now of computer users. <laughs> okay, that got this um, off the web somewhere. Not quite complete. Yeah, I think 1% or 0.5% are running Linux. Okay, um, yeah. So, yeah. And so you have these Linux people, and most of them are running GNOME or KDE. It's another scientific study. Uh, yeah, cool. And then there's other, and I fall, yeah, into this other one. And so there's these other users, like Openbox, and then something else I can't remember. Uh, it's very scientific, you know, so there's actually one more. <laughs> yeah, so then there's these tiling window managers. And so there's one that's pretty cool called Xmonad, and there's this other one called Awesome that's awesome. Um, the cool thing about Awesome is that it's written in Lua, and so it's indexed by one instead of zero. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, and so at some point you're using these tiling window managers, and they're cool because you can hack on them, and then you want to hack them to sort of tile where you want to. And awesome is Lua, and Xmonad is this weird language called um, Haskell. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's one more called Qtile. <laughs> um, yeah. So, why tiling window manager? Like, a few, about two years ago, my wrist started saying, don't grab that mouse anymore. And so, tiling window managers allow you to sort of by your keyboard, lay things out, and you can create, you know, layout schemes however you want to. So there's one of them called Qtile by Aldo Cortese. Um, and I'll just give you a demo of it really quick. So I'm running it here. Uh, I just started a new window. Wow, it came up. I can switch my tiles. I can float them. I can you know, minimize them or maximize them. Cool. Um, pretty exciting stuff here. Anyway, um, so one of the cool things about Qtile here is that it's written in Python. And so, like I said, these tiling window managers are, um, you know, you want to be able to program them. And Qtile is also um, scriptable. And so the advantage is that it's scriptable and it's written in Python. You can hack it pretty cool. And this is actually a, a test, test case running for uh, Qtel uh, doing four different monitors and testing if layout works on four different monitors. Anyway, and so yeah, that's kind of cool. Testing? Uh, OK, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I was going to do this at another boff, but I figured that'd be too harsh on me. So I thought you guys would be a nicer audience. Um, so anyway, <laughs> okay, thank you.